My goodness, my neck so hurt. Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Anyway, let me wake up with my morning coffee. Hey Paul! <laughs> this is the Mickey t-shirts that I got recently. This is the wax hair wax I usually use. Not that hard, but it's not that soft. So, I like it. And uh, yeah, I'm almost ready. Let's get the coffee too. Ooh, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs> and the coffee is here too. Come by. Ah, uh, morning cafe latte, always good. Again, good morning, everyone. Well, so today's the day I will give you guys a room tour. Actually, I was planning to give you guys a room tour. Uh, weeks from now or two weeks from now because my room is not ready yet however as you guys know I got the twisted neck I'm not sure how to call that but in Japanese we called nechigae uh, I just got this booster shot and uh, I got the side effect I had about 39 degrees and uh, it was hard according to my doctor when I sleep my mattress originally didn't fit much, so I had a kind of pain on my back. It was painful, so I tried to cover my leg when I sleep and uh, yeah, my neck was twisted. <laughs> because of that, I kind of have a pain on my neck today, so I don't think I can go out. That's why uh, I decided to make a room tour video today. By the way, this is the table that I usually use. Right now, I'm using with this laptop MacBook 13 inches, but uh, I'm planning to get the display, like sub display here, so that uh, you know I can edit more easily. Let's do it! All right, let's do this. I've never given you guys a room tour like this before, so kind of excited. I hope it's interesting. On my desk. Uh, there is uh, sunglasses that I bought. It's a way faller. I've been telling you guys that I will buy the sunglasses, but finally I got it. Uh, and uh, I'm happy with this. And uh, that's the hand cream in Japan. Maybe if you have visited Japan, it's familiar. Really popular brand. And also, this is something that I bought yesterday. It's a uh, anti-mosquito or anti-bug spray for summer really important and when I have a spare time you know I try to train my grip <laughs> and uh, yeah this is the headphone I usually use when I edit and on the left side it's my calculator. Well, calculator is really important. I've been using many calculators and uh, I realized that uh, this calculator is pretty good. Uh, it's not as fancy as TI-85, TI-86. It was really simple. So here, it's the charger section. I found it on Amazon. It's huge, but uh, really useful and on the ref side i was planning to you know place the wall here because of the earthquake i'm planning to place the cam over here so that the, if the earthquake comes it doesn't fall down however I haven't <laughs> well i just cleaned up a little bit but still it's really messy i need to you know clean it up uh here those are my uh, I'm shooting recording equipment. This is a GoPro and uh, lights, my old lights, and also. So those were coming from Osaka. I used to use the Canon cam, which is EOS R, but now I'm using the Sony FX3. I will unpack it soon and I try to use it as my second camera. Those are the favorites for smell, and uh, it's a room diffuser. Japanese essence, sakura flavor. 
it has really nice smell. And here, Raichu coming with me from Osaka, and also the silver play button. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the carbon box for a very long time and uh, finally he's out! Sweet! Ooh, so that's around my desk. About the chair, well, I believe if you have checked the gaming chair before, uh, you know this brand. <laughs> yeah, AK Racing, which is really popular brand. And uh, their quality is pretty good too. Uh, well, when I started the YouTube channel, I wanted to have this chair, which is the AK Racing one, but uh, <laughs> it was pricey and I didn't have the budget. So I got a different kind of chair. It was much cheaper than this one. However, it's pretty nice. I can tell the difference. And uh, especially, I like the color. So this Overture series had that white color, which perfectly matches with my desk, so I really love it. Yeah. It has really nice cushion, and when I'm tired, I can lay down like this. And here, there is a cushion too, the small pillow. It's really comfy, yeah. And also, my back is not that strong, and these gaming chairs have nice cushion here as well. Before, I had the different kinds of gaming chair, but uh, the cushion, the place wasn't that good and the cushion's quality wasn't that good neither. So uh, I kind of got the pain on my back, but this one, yeah, I really like it. Oh, it's not the paid sponsorship, but thank you so much for sending me this. AK Racing, I got home. All right, so next, let me show you the kitchen. Well, actually, it's in the same room though. Uh, yeah, just over here. <laughs> That's my kitchen. By the way, this is an old apartment. Whenever I walk here, always sound, and there are many damages on the floor, but uh, it's okay. So let me show you guys the kitchen. There are two lights, kitchen. One is here. The other one, here is the light too. However, this light, it's kind of broken. Not sure you can tell by display, but it's always blinking. It gets old. So let me talk about the basic rule in Japan when you rent the apartment. So those lights, basically, after you move in, you have to change it by yourself, your own expense. However, this one already, when I move in, it's already broken, so. I'm asking to change them. Well, it is taking time to change it because now it's obon, which is a big holiday in Japan. So yeah, uh, I need to wait. If you follow my Instagram, you guys know I love cooking. So kitchen size and room size are really important for me when I move in. Something what I love about this apartment, usually in Japan, single studio apartment has really small kitchen, but here, there are three heaters and also we call this sakana yakiki. It's kind of like a fish grill machine. Unfortunately, no oven and no dishwasher, but it's really rare to see in Japanese apartment, those stuffs. Now I don't have much ingredients, but those are the ingredients I usually use for now. Maybe for you guys, something new is mentsu. Mentsu, it's really useful for cooking katsudon, Japanese food, udon, soba, you need it. And also mirin. It's like a sake, but sweet. Probably you can find those at the Japanese supermarket. So those are the cutboard I use. This one for meat and this one for veggie. By the way, meat in Japanese is miku, miku. And veggies in Japanese is yasai. Yasai. So for niku and for yasai. Here, bad news for you. In Japan, unfortunately, most of the apartment, except this super fancy one, there is no garbage disposal. So you have to always, you know, pick it up and trash it. Uh, there are two sponges. This one for dishes and that one is for cleaning up the sink. Oh, and also something that I want to introduce is that, uh, look at this spongy. It sticks. 
<laughs> I found it at the dollar stores. You can just place it and it sticks and you can place the spongy like this. Very useful. Oh, so I have to tell you something that you really need to know is that uh, this is the fan, you know, ventilation fan for the kitchen. Well, unfortunately, many people smoke under the fan. Now I don't have smell, but many times if I don't place the fan, this place, around this place, it became a cigarette smell. That's common problem about the fang in Japan and uh, you can't do nothing about it just make the turn on the fan always however if you live in this studio apartment the AC is coming from there and the fan is always moving but if you turn off the fan then the cigarette smell coming out from there. It's not that super strong, however, still you can find that smell. So if you are living in the studio apartment in Japan and if you don't smoke cigarette, you have to consider about it. If you rent an apartment, 1K apartment, which is separated by the kitchen and the room, then that should be fine. However, if you are thinking of renting a studio at the Japanese apartment, definitely you have to be careful that's japan living tip number one and those are the kitchen stuffs mostly coming from osaka so i had the question in the comment section before let me answer it here can we drink the water in japan well yes we can drink the tapped water however it is not that popular drinking tapped water yeah especially in a big city i think in osaka at least Oh, by the way, I was born and raised in Osaka. So that's why uh, I always get the water. Yeah, I think the water is really important because your body is mostly made by the water. So uh, I usually buy the water. Uh, by the way, this is the candy, my favorite candy, yogurtto. It's really popular in Japan and perfect eating this with beer. Yeah, it's really good. Otsumami, otsumami. Otsumami is the snack for beer. And this one is chotto zosui, chotto zosui. It's a instant porridge. You can mix it with rice and you can eat it. I just had the booster shot side effect, so those chotto zosui were really useful. This one is sake, sake means salmon. And this one is kani, kani meaning crab taste. And now let me introduce my special body, my favorite buddy refrigerator yes <laughs> this is the stuff uh what i bought the was most expensive one here most of them are coming from osaka but uh, this guy pretty new it's a big fridge it was about hundred thousand japanese yen really expensive but uh it's pretty big well i don't have much stuffs in here but uh yeah really useful <laughs> this is a sake recently i got it as a souvenir one thing i love about this refrigerator is that here is some place oops uh refrigerator tells you need to cross the door but anyway uh one thing i love about this refrigerator is that there is a place that you can place the, some smelly stuff like kimchi natto those kind of stuffs and then it closed so that it doesn't smell and uh, this super cooling place uh, this one is much cooler but uh, it is not as cool as the frozen place so if you place the beer you can drink the freezing cold beer that's what i love also i can make ice automatically and those are the frozen food. Whenever I don't want to cook, I usually eat it. This one, recommended if you are living in Japan. At the 7-Eleven, you can always buy it. You can just microwave it and then it's pretty good. Yaki onigiri, yaki onigiri. I will show you guys later. And that's a bed. So this time, 
you know, I bought the single bed and then I didn't really buy the good one. So I had the big sleeping problem. I changed the several pillows, but it didn't work out. And then finally, I got the mattress top and it works. Yeah, I usually wake up like several times in the night. It was pretty uncomfortable, but uh, after having this mattress top, yeah, finally, it works. So if you are thinking of buying a cheap mattress, you gotta be careful. I've never had sleeping problem at the cheap business hotel or wherever it is whenever I sleep. Even I had no problem with sleeping on the couch at my friend's house. But uh, here, yeah, this time just didn't fit. So sad though. And that's TV, Nintendo Switch, Switcher. Also, oh, those are the shooting equipment, such as light like that <laughs> and uh, here this one is the uh, voiceover microphone recently i don't use the voiceover much haven't made a setup yet but uh, it's supposed to be on the desk when the desk is ready i will give you guys uh, my desk tour in the future too yeah still i need to place the microphone and also the camera all right, the next, let me show you the bathroom. Oh, beforehand, uh, let me explain about the trash. So if you are thinking of moving to Japan, that's something you have to know. In Japan, we have a really strict trash system. For example, those are the burner board. I just place it in front of the kitchen. And uh, this one has the non-burnable recycle stuff. And uh, that's being pet bottles and cans. You have to make it separate and you have to trash it in the different zone. So there are many detailed rule of the trash. Ah, uh, yeah, if you don't get used to it, it's really pain in the ass. But uh, once you get it, you can just get the, you know, those kind of different trash cans and uh, yeah. <laughs> problem will be solved but uh, that's something you have to keep in your mind if you want to live in japan those kind of rules you have to follow yeah that's japan apartment destiny number two <laughs> unfortunate though so let's go to the bathroom by the way another room diffuser and also that one is like a favorite because this room was empty for a long time so it had a really strong drain smell and uh, it was pretty bad oops <laughs> sorry it was pretty bad however now those room diffusers and also this anti-smell spray it gets much better much much better i'm really happy and here it's the restroom toilet it has the shower toilet we call that washuretto washuretto really popular and then for me it is really important if no shower toilet in the apartment i wouldn't leave that and it's the wash machine it's a second hand but working pretty well pretty pretty well i love it by the way, those are my favorite detergent and softener. And also those are the sink. It's a bit messy. I will clean it off. One problem is that, uh, again, this light has a problem. So I'm asking them to change. Yep. <laughs> also this light too. Unfortunate though. But uh, after changing those, it will be perfect. <laughs> and here is the bathtub. One good thing about this bathtub is that it has a reheating system, which is really popular in Japan. Whenever the water gets cold, you can just place the bottom over here and it became really warm, really useful. We call that oidaki, oidaki. If you love taking bath, definitely you are looking for the oidaki. Oh! Let me introduce this guy over here. It's a vacuum. Dyson, really useful. It is pretty light and 
it works pretty well. Take a perm and a cold dress. And just hang it like this. It will start charging. It works perfect and I love it. I used to have the vacuum, that one over there, but it didn't work well. So thank you so much for sending me this as a gift from my Amazon's wish list, Kim. Arigato! Again, big shout out to you. Definitely my QOL increased by this Dyson. I literally vacuum every day. Literally. Yeah. Loving it. Well, I was planning to cook today, but since video gets already too long, so let me introduce my favorite instant food. Whenever I don't have time, I cook those. Well, I'm not sure if I can call it I cook or not, but uh, yeah. It's coming from 7-Eleven and uh, Donbei. Have you guys heard of it? It's a uh, udon instant noodle. This yaki onigiri grilled rice bowl is really simple cook. Just... Yeah. You need to place it in the refrigerator. And here, it's Donbei. That's how it looks like. There is a deep fried tofu and noodle compared to regular noodle this one takes five minutes so two minutes longer because usually it's three minutes really nice dashi flavor already you can feel all right it's ready hmm very used onigiri soy sauce based taste smells pretty good <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the quick lunch I usually eat. Even it's instant noodle, but tastes pretty good. I like the ramen style one too, but I prefer the udon. Itadakimasu. It has really nice strong dashi flavor and also based soy sauce. Thinking the food as an instant food, they did a pretty good job. Something interesting is that this donbei tastes different if you buy it in the east part of Japan or west part of Japan. If you buy this at the west part of Japan, it has a stronger taste. If you buy this at the east part of Japan, it has a weaker taste. Yep, trippier. <laughs> mm. Especially, I love this deep fried tofu. <laughs> We call it kitsune, kitsune. So somehow <laughs> we call this kitsune udon, kitsune udon, meaning fox udon. And uh, if you have a tempura, then we call it tanuki udon, tanuki udon, which is a raccoon. <laughs> I mean Japanese raccoon. Yeah, tempura is not really like you know shrimp tempura. Yeah, tempura is like this. Must be there's a picture here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I prefer the fox one. And you know what the fox says? <laughs> Alright, the next, it's yaki onigiri. Yaki onigiri. It's really popular food in Japan. Grilled onigiri rice bowl. It has nice soy sauce flavor. Crispy. Really good. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Maybe not so many nutrition on this, but uh, it's not unhealthy neither. It's a white rice, just grilled one, and then taste by the soy sauce. Well, if you love onigiri and warm the food, definitely you got to try this at least once. You can just find it at the 7-Eleven and uh, you can microwave it. You know, microwave is everywhere in Japan. Hmm. This kitsune tastes pretty good. And uh, you know what the fox says? <laughs> oh, and today it's not beer, it's karpis. Karpis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I love drinking karpis in the summer day. 
speaking of the comment, thank you so much for giving me many comments. But I have been receiving many comments that Ryan eat something healthy, healthier, eat veggies, blah blah blah. Thank you very much for worrying about me. But、uh, if you check my Instagram, I usually post it my daily food. I eat something healthy. I cook basically every day. Don't worry about it. Maybe in the video, I eat. Combini food, McDonald's, outside food. But、uh, in the daily life, I have that nice fridge and kitchen. So if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account or Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I got them. <sighs> yes, finally, almost finishing the apartment stuff, and also I got the booster shot. Still, I have a neck. Problem, but、uh, I think this will be fine in several days, according to my chiropractic. <laughs> And also, if you haven't checked my live stream, ta! I got the new sunglasses. It's a way forward. Thank you so much for giving me so many advice in the comment section. And finally, I got this. How is it? Does it fit? Or hey, you should wear the top. Anyway, what I want to say is that I am ready for the next adventure. In the future, I'm planning to go into the adventure and also showing Japan, also foreign country. On the way, I'm planning to giving you guys a Japanese lesson as well, so you can learn something and you can use it whenever you visit Japan. <laughs> Hope it helps. If you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video. Big thank you to all of my patrons because of you guys' support, I can keep making videos. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Arigato!、Uh, and please do me a favor: if you enjoy the video, hit the like button so that I can know you guys enjoy this video, so that you know I can keep making this kind of daily content as well. So arigato! All right, so hope you have a wonderful day. So see you in the next video. See no go. <laughs> have a great day. Bye bye. Ah, oh, you know what? I just realized that、uh, the light is in the frame. <laughs> Actually, there are three lights in front of me, two ceiling lights, and、uh, that light is for. The behind the wall over there. The lights are really important. Yeah. Well, it's okay as long as you enjoyed it. So see you in the next video. See you next time. Have a great day. Oh, it's gone.